I know many of you can struggle with confidence and assertiveness. So here's my technique and way to get past that and give you the skills and tools you need to feel more confident when you need it. So I've had a number of conversations recently and it's just kind of brought to light. This is obviously a big issue, a lot of people, and I've got a technique that can work in some instances, not maybe for everyone, but at least go and try and see what kind of results you get with it. So here it is. Let's imagine for a second that you have a situation you want to feel more confident or more assertive in than you currently are. Now, how I usually approach this is to really understand that if you are never confident or have never been assertive in your life, um, because often that's not the case. Uh, you can probably find something from your own personal history even now where you know you are confident and assertive. So what's happening is obviously something's happening that's different for you in this new environment where you're struggling to feel more confident compared to your personal history where you have felt more assertive and so on. What's really changed? What's happened? Well, you can look at the obvious, the external stimulation of what's happening, the environment or the exchanges of people, discussions you're having. But don't forget of all the things I've been sharing with you over all the vlogs in some form that you're going to notice is one theme. Everything comes from within. It all comes through you, through how you're seeing it, how you're interacting with it. So what's happened for us that, that's different that from our past, we've done successfully well in this, to where we are struggling now. What is going on? And that is the core of what we're gonna do next. Let's go through a simple example. Say you'd like to feel more confident and more assertive um, in a particular environment. Maybe it's a meeting or discussions with people, whatever variation of this. Maybe you're feeling a bit under the spotlight, under pressure in some form, which is when obviously confidence can drop. Whilst we've got that image, of our kind of concerns in the future there, I want to draw your attention to something else. I want you to go back into your personal history and find that time that you can remember when you were confident and were assertive. Because that's going to be our source point, our, our basis of how we're going to understand what you need to have happen internally to bring that confidence forward into a new environment. So for example, we have this discussion this meeting this conversation you want to feel more confident in we're going to go through that part in your history where you were feeling more confident what did you do what did you say to yourself how did you act we're going to really get details on all the things you did now for this example we can say simply that you'd had a bit of preparation time which is great so in that preparation time, what were we doing specifically? Were we looking at like a day, two days, three days? Were you looking in detail over what was needed to be prepared for? Or are you just scanning through? Take the time to notice what you did specifically before that moment of feeling confident. What steps did you take in advance for it? Let's say you needed one day of just rewarming yourself up with the information you needed before this meeting or this spot for um, this exchange just so you felt clear on it that that's what it needs to be but that was enough for you to feel going into that environment confident and assertive whilst it's a simplistic example it at least gives you the, gr the grounding of what I'm looking to offer you which is to get really specific on the steps that took you to confident and took you to assertive so we've got the strategy in place. We understand what it takes to get to the point of being confident and assertive. In this example, maybe conveniently, but they are able to be taken from that environment and we can place them over like a Lego brick, slot them in to the new environment. We know from our own personal history that we need a certain amount of preparation in place before we have these meetings or these conversations which are challenging to feel confident and assertive. So then all we need to do is replicate, map over from that environment to this one, those steps, which will then equal for you more confidence, more assertion than you had previously. Now, you may be going, well, well that example doesn't apply to me at all. And of course it probably won't. But what I want you to do is go through those times when you have felt confident and just notice, just as a game, notice actually there were things that happened prior to that situation that you can replicate. You can go back through those steps and think actually the pivotal things, the things that made a difference for me to feel confident were these three, four, five things here. Just because you're confident 
and did it naturally in one of other environments, though you required preparation, but you weren't consciously thinking about it. You did it, you prepared, boom, you were in the environment and you were the confident person, the assertive person you want to be. Doesn't mean you can't take it over here or to any situation and map over those feelings or that same strategy to feel more confident. You're the same person. Now, you may not get exactly the same result as you would over here, but you're gonna get a better result. You're putting some of the foundations in place that you need over here. So I really encourage you to notice a situation you wanna feel better about or feel more confident over. Go back to a personal history. Find something you were as confident as you'd like to be. Understand what had happened to get you to that point. It, it could have been a hot bath the night before. It could have been taking the train on time so you weren't rushed. Whatever it is for you, understand it. Notice those steps. Take them and then apply them. It just works. And that's the video. That's what I can give you. There is one story that you can stay out and listen to if you like, which um, is loads of fun. I was working with a group of children in the school and I had a very similar example. And it was that one boy was talking about football and how fearless he was at tackling. He said he'd always go for the ball and he was never fearful of being hurt. And he spoke about this for a while. One other boy came up and said, I'd love to have that kind of confidence, that, 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 that feeling. And I said, okay, well, let's get it for you then. So I said to the boy, the footballer, I said, look, okay, so understand, let me understand what you do when you are aiming for the tackle. What are the steps before you get to the tackle? Where do you, what do you say to yourself? What do you hear? And explained it actually quite simply that he just, when he saw the ball and could see the tackle was kind of approaching, he just kind of felt and said to himself that he was going to crush him, as in the opponent and the footballer. He just felt that confidence and he used those words. And I said, okay, great. And where are you, where are you feeling them? He said, in my chest. And I said, okay, how are you, how are you saying them to yourself? Is it a deep voice, low voice? What's high voice? What, what is it? He said, quite a deep, close voice. I said, okay. So deep, close, on your chest, and you're saying, I'm going to crush him. Turn to the other boy and say, right, next time you know you need to feel more confident on something, I want you to repeat exactly the steps that he's done. I mean, to take in that, that sense of that voice, the depth of it, and the voice you can hear, feel it in that same location, the same pitch, same tone, and then see what happens. So he did, went off. And it's quite dry, because it's quite practical step by step. But what happened? Came back the following week, we spoke about it, and towards the end, he said, oh, and by the way, I used that thing you mentioned. I said, how did it go? He said, well, in my GCSE art class, I felt I needed that confidence, so I said it to myself, and I said, okay, great, how'd you go? I said, well, the teacher came up to me at the end and said that what I achieved was more of an A-level standard than ever before. I'm like, okay, and that's great. So it wasn't football, it wasn't in any way a sense that's related to the original information from the other boy, it was actually turned and transformed in what he needed at that time. But he got a different result, but one that still was what he needed to feel better and get a great outcome, a great result for him. I mean, obviously that's got a number of additional points inside it. And maybe on another vlog, I'll be able to go a bit further and explain how we might map from somebody else's experience into our own and notice the results we get there. So for now, um, there's a lot there. I hope you get some value from it and try it out and I'll catch you next time.